Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today we have Oktoberfest Aya, which comes to us in the middle of December, but hey, what you gonna do about it, huh? So this was one of the Halloween Kingdom Death models, but since they Halloweened themselves into a corner and released all a bunch of models for Halloween already, they decided to do something different. So yeah, let's take a look at what's inside. I like the colors, it's very festive, different. You are greeted to bags upon bags, and that's it. Okay, cool. We have a whole bunch of cards with the whole pattern system thing going on there. Pop that open. We have our usual postcard. We'll take a look at all that stuff later. And then both models are actually all on one sprue. I know sometimes we have separated ones. Sometimes I'm able to open the back. Sometimes I'm not. There we go. So looking at the part layout for this, it doesn't look too ridiculous. I mean, maybe I'm just jaded and having built just about all the plastics from Kingdom Death so far. It doesn't look that bad. In fact, I'd almost say that the 54 millimeter model almost looks downright easy. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess she is wearing something on her rear end, because that was driving me nuts. I wonder if this is, like, optional. You can have a skirted version or a non-skirted version. That's kind of a plus. I guess if you really want a super cheesecakey version, you can. And if you want a more reasonably dressed version, you could do that, too. That's kind of nice. Cool. All right. I don't know which model is which. I'm wondering, are they numbered or lettered? Yeah, they are. Okay. So you can see here, oh, look at the size of that piece. That, that's going to be a fun one. So I'm assuming the A pieces are going to be the gaming size. No, A pieces are the big ones. B pieces, because you can see here, it's much smaller. B pieces are going to be your gaming pieces. Okay, I'm going to start with the gaming size, because I want to. And then we will give the big version a shot as well. Sound good? That's what we're doing. So here you can see all the parts for our gaming size Oktoberfest Anna, and I think I've pretty much got everything figured out. So you have the main lower torso, you have two options, you do have a skirted version or a thick-cheeked version if you really want to have a basically, you know, scantily clad Oktoberfest drinking girl. Um, you have a peg for the left leg in there, and then there are ridges on the right that are going to just attach somehow to the garter that I haven't figured out yet. I'll, I'll get there. Okay, besides that, you're going to have the beer tankard that's going to attach right onto the hip. There's a little plug there. It's on both hips, and it's just going to slot in right there and connect with the belt. You have the back of the torso, the front of the torso, which conveniently has the breasts on it. And it's going to go like so, and you'll notice that it makes the little spot there for the arms to slot in. I haven't glued it or anything. There are some spots on the back. This is going to be for the barrel of booze. That's going to get glued together and fly everywhere. So you got a lid. It's got a little notch on there the lid attaches to, and then there is a spot for it to glue onto the back. Okay. Her right hand, pretty self-explanatory. Has a little peg there. Right arm, left arm, same thing. And then there is a little notch for her hand to hold on to the lantern. Okay, and then finally on the front of the torso, you have a spot for the both the front of the face like so and then her ponytail and stuff on the back kind of like that I'm guessing I gotta glue it all together I think that's how it goes I'm going to go ahead and follow my own advice and glue it all the way I just described it it's about 14 13 parts give or take with the extra basically undressed torso. I really like the skirt version though, so I'm gonna go with that. It's more tasteful anyway, and I've got kids that like to play. So yeah, all right, let's put it together and then we'll move on to the big old pinup version. All right, so we got gaming sized Aya all done here. I gotta say, I really like this pose, assuming I put her together correctly. 
She got her little beer stein. She's got her beer barrel. She's got the lantern, the blade. I mean, she looks like she's going off on an actual adventure. And just, you know, adding to the variety of survivor models that we currently have. Just, it's a fun little addition. And she scales well with a lot of the other models, be they beefcake males or not. Oops. Obviously, our Halloween Zachary and the Forge Priest from the bundle on Black Friday a few years ago. And she scales pretty well with both the resins and plastic models of various times and places in the Kingdom Death history of models getting released. So, cool there. And she looks, I mean, it looks like she's going to fit in perfectly with all the other crazy models we've got at this point. So, even with Satan. Anyway, so, that is our gaming-sized model. And then, why don't we take a look at what is going to constitute the pinup model. So, obviously, first and foremost, she has her big keg that she's sitting on. You have both the front and the back of the barrel, which is pretty self-explanatory. There is going to go attached there. You have, I don't know where I put it, her main body. And again, no pants, so practice painting those thongs. Both legs, pretty self-explanatory there. Her hair is, what, let me see here, three pieces. You have the two halves right here, and then there is this ridiculous strand that you saw earlier. You've got the hand with the frothy stein. You've got a bit of a lantern, it looks like. The chest, her other hand, which I believe is supposed to be resting on the keg. I could be wrong. And then the actual face itself. So, in honesty, I think that the pinup is actually going to be a little bit easier to work with in terms of it's just big pieces. So, build-wise, I think it's going to be less of a hassle. So, fingers crossed. Uh, that crazy little strand of hair, though, I have no idea. I'll have to look online, probably. Otherwise, I think I can handle it. Let's give it a shot. All right, check it out. I actually think I've built our pinup version correctly. And I didn't even have to check on the internet. Um, there's a little notch on the head that seemed like, I'm assuming that's where it's going to go for that one crazy little strand of hair. Um, her hand is going to... Oh, I keep messing that up. Her hand is going to attach to the tray... And then that's going to just kind of rest against the body as far as I can tell. Or is it just going to sit there? Um, and then you have the lantern is going to slide into a notch in the spilled beer, ale, whatever it is. And boom, there you go. Actually, I think of all the pinups, this is probably my favorite. Just it's it's a little bit more, I don't know, relaxed. It's less grim, dark. Uh it seems a little bit less cheesecake. Yeah, she's not wearing her skirt anymore for some reason, but then again, she's sitting in a bunch of spilled beer. But she's at least got some modesty, and she's covering herself up with the tray there. Kind of a fun little touch. My cheapskate 360 rotating turn here. And it's a good size kit. Um, I think if you're a painter type, you definitely have a lot to work with there. Getting the... Adventure style, Aya in tow. And then I know if you're way more into the gameplay, you have your Durndal, Durndal, and your After Death Brew. Wow, these are thin. I hear people commenting about how nice they were online, or at least that After Death seems thin. I don't really care, though. I'm not going to bother sleeving them or anything and then you have the gear cards as well i have got a ridiculous amount of gear cards and promo cards but then again i've been picking these up for quite some time now so it is what it is i do look forward to painting our adventurer friend and i will be honest i have not finished a single one of the pinup models yet i have started three of them and they're all in various stages of completion 
I think my Valentine's Twilight Night is probably the furthest along, and I probably should just suck it up and get it done. That'll be my goal for 2020, is I want to try to finish off all of the 54mm pinup models that we've got at this point, which unfortunately is too many, but that's a whole other story in and of itself. And I know I have the Christmas Satan and Christmas Twilight Night hanging around somewhere nearby too, so we'll have to get to them as well. Anyway, this is Oktoberfest Aya. I know, obviously, it's way past October because I'm doing this in the middle of December. But I want to put this up just so you guys know how to build her. And for posterity's sake, I'm sure she'll be back next year at Halloween time as well. So with that said, keep your eyes peeled. Don't hit those scalpers up on eBay. She's plastic. She'll be back. I can count on it. You got my guarantee. <laughs> If that means anything at all. With that said, this is High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all later. Bye bye.